what does rigging mean? Rigging is the process of preparing and moving heavy loads or equipment typically in industrial, manufacturing or construction settings. It involves the use of specialized equipment and techniques to ensure that the load is safely secured and moved to its destination. The rigging process includes planning, preparing the load, selecting and attaching the rigging equipment, lifting and moving the load, and removing the rigging equipment. Rigging requires specialized knowledge and training to ensure that the load is safely transported without causing damage or injury. It is a critical part of many industries and requires compliance with safety regulations and procedures to minimize the risk of accidents or injuries. This is a short introduction of rigging. Let us understand now what is safe rigging, why safe rigging is always demanded. Dear friends and fellows, safe rigging is always required because it involves handling heavy loads or equipment that can pose a significant risk to workers and the surrounding environment if not properly secured and transported. Improper rigging can result in accidents, injuries and even fatalities as well as damage to property and equipment. Safe rigging practices help to ensure that loads are properly secured and balanced. Equipment is in good working condition and workers are properly trained and supervised. You are on the platform of safety plus life. Today, we are discussing about rigging and slinging. And who is responsible for safe rigging and slinging on site? So, without wasting time, let's get started. Dear friends and fellows, Rigger is the responsible person for safe rigging and slinging at work. In this training session, I'll discuss safe rigging and slinging methods and 14 basic mandatory and key responsibilities of a rigger. Number one, plan and prepare rigging operations including selecting the appropriate equipment and tools. A rigger must have a thorough understanding of the requirements of a particular job and prepare a plan of action accordingly. They must select the appropriate equipment and tools that will be used for the job, ensuring that they are in good working order and are suitable for the job at hand. So number one duty is planning. Number two, conduct site inspections, identify potential hazards and ensure safe working conditions. Dear friends and fellows, before any rigging operation begins, a rigger must conduct a site inspection to identify potential hazards. This includes assessing the stability of the ground and the environment around the job site, as well as checking for any overhead obstacles, power lines, or other hazards that may pose a risk to the rigging team or the load being moved. The second important responsibility of a rigger is to conduct site inspection for the identification of potential hazards. Number three, interpret and apply rigging standards, regulations and procedures. A rigger must have a comprehensive knowledge of rigging standards, regulations and procedures to ensure that they are followed the latter. This includes compliance with OSHA regulations, lunar 
clear are state and local codes as well as the rigging manufacturers instructions guidelines and recommendations number four calculate load weights and determine safe load capacities for equipment and other rigging materials a rigger must have a good understanding of weight calculations load calculations center of gravity and load distribution to determine the safe load capacity of the equipment and other rigging or slinging gear being lifted number five rig loads to ensure stability and safety during lifting and moving operation a rigger must carefully rig loads to ensure that they remain stable and secure during lifting and moving operations this includes selecting the appropriate rigging equipment attaching the load to the rigging and properly balancing the load this is responsibility number 5 you are on the platform of safety plus life if you are watching for the first time kindly subscribe it and press the bell icon for all future notifications and if you find the video informative then like comment and share it with your friends and fellows today we are discussing about safe rigging hand slinging method or been e responsibility of a rigger number 6 attach loads to rigging equipment such as slings chains and cables a rigger must have a working knowledge of rigging equipment and be able to properly attach loads to the slings chains and cables there is a wide variety of lifting accessories lifting tackles or gear a rigger must be aware of all these lifting accessories and their safe use number 7 inspect and maintain rigging equipment ensure it is in safe working condition dear friends and fellows a rigger must inspect rigging equipment regularly ensure that it is in safe working condition this includes checking for wear and tear corrosion and other signs of damage they might be webbing slings chain slings wire rope slings t shackles spreader beams or other similar lifting accessories or tackles responsibility number 8 signal crane operators and equipment operators to ensure safe movement of loads a rigger must be able to communicate effectively with crane operators and equipment operators to ensure safe movement of loads this includes signaling the operator to start or stop the lift as well as indicating the direction and speed of the load Number nine, coordinate with other workers to ensure safe and efficient rigging operations. A rigger must work closely with other workers, including crane operators, equipment operators, and other riggers, axmen, or signalmen, to ensure that the rigging operation is performed safely and efficiently. Remember. for a lifting there might be a lifting supervisor and a lifting appointed person so there should be a close coordination and combination for safe and successful lifting operation responsibility number 10 inspect and maintain safety equipment such as harnesses and safety nuts a rigger must inspect and maintain safety equipment regularly to ensure that it is in good working condition this includes checking for any signs of wear and tear or damage number 11 monitor weather conditions and adjust rigging operations as necessary a rigger must be aware of changing weather condition and adjust 
rigging operations as necessary to ensure that they are performed safely in any case safety shall not be compromised due, due to job urgency or workload pressure from the senior management safety is paramount and and this is the rigor who will stop the operation once there is a chance of adverse weather condition that may lead to a potential lifting accident or incident in the workplace number 12 identify and report safety hazards and take appropriate corrective actions a rigger must be able to identify safety hazards and take appropriate corrective actions to ensure the safety of the rigging team and other workers on the job site number 13 train and mend other riggers and workers on rigging safety and procedures the rigger must be able to train and guide other riggers and workers on rigging safety and procedures to ensure that they are performed correctly because a minor mistake might lead to a catastrophic accident on the job site maybe damage sling in use maybe there is corrosion there is wear and tear on the d shackle bow shackle and it was used by any of the rigging team member and the last point point number 14 coordinate with project managers the rigger must coordinate with site management to ensure that the rigging operation meets project timelines and budgets in addition the rigger must conduct safety meetings and toolbox talks prior to start any lifting operation why to promote rigging safety and to ensure that all workers are aware of the hazards associated with the lifting operations and this will exercise in every single lifting operation on site dear friends and fellows in short a rigger is responsible for safe lifting operations including planning crane inspection rigging gear inspection lifting team preparation site conditions weather condition identification of potential hazards lifting plan communication methods signaling load attachments rigging methods load lifting and dumping points ongoing activities in the close proximity of lifting area how to deal with emergency situations and availability of trained and competent operators and other lifting team members and to conduct safety meeting before starting any lifting operation on site these all are the responsibilities of a rigger lifting activity is always critical and complex and lifting incidents and accidents can only be avoided once the lifting team act with better coordination communication with suitable and sufficient arrangements as per the workable lifting plan on site and that's all for now thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe wish to see you soon with a new hsc tutorial until then take care good luck and goodbye